Hey guys, welcome back to the Ohio Farm Life channel. So this morning, I run the Provico and Botkins, and I picked up two mineral feeders for our cattle because I had a guy bring us some mineral to try, which I've been wanting to get our cattle on a mineral program because we'll throw a salt box out for them every once in a while, but now that we've got a lot of them out on pasture, which we're feeding hay now because we were dry there for a while, the pasture's uh slowed down on us but we're going to try starting on a mineral program so i just got these two put together and i got some minerals down the other barn on a skid that we'll load we'll go down through them in the bed of the kubota and then we'll head to the other farms and um put them out and we got a new calf at one farm so we're gonna have to give it a shot and could probably tag it too i missed the last calf and now it's probably, probably won't let me catch it to give it a tag too. But we're gonna go do some stuff with the cattle today. Uh, DJ's been here working on the 986. And we I was bush hogging pastures with it one day and it got hot on me and we got a antifreeze leak coming out of the radiator. So I don't know if we can fix that one or if we're gonna have to get a new one. But he tore into that today. to get loaded up and head out. So here's the mineral we're putting in. It's from Midwestern Bioag. It's so grazing special. Um, it's got, I don't know what all it's got in it. It's got salt, kelp, all kinds of things for, it'll be good for the cattle. I'm not putting all of it in. You only put a little bit in at once because the cattle not having mineral out to them before, um, they'll eat it all up right away until they get their fill of it and then if we keep them on this and don't let them run out for very long, then they should not eat it very quick. They'll just eat it a little bit here and there, and, but until they get it in their system and get their levels up to where they want them to be, they'll uh, eat a lot of it. But you don't necessarily have to have this stuff, but I, I want to put it out because 
and what the cattle will be do be and do the best that they can. So they're out here checking it out already. We got a calf in the lot out there. I want to tag, so we'll move Kubota out of the road here. Oh, we gotta give. Turns out I found another new calf here today. We've got four calves at this farm. We was I had a hard time finding a bull to rent last year, so we're a lot farther behind on calving here than I than I would like, but there's not much we can do about it. So we got Bozy here. It's a shot that we give the calves. I can't remember what all it protects him from off the top of my head. I'd have to ask my mom get her out of it all off. But we gotta give them two and a half milliliters to each calf and just give it to them under the skin. And then now that we, uh, now that everything's changed, DJ and I are doing the cattle all together. We don't each have our own like we used to. But uh, we started doing it where I tagged mine with green tags and he was yellow tags. And uh, we've been tagging them this year just kind of, uh, I guess, still keeping track of our original herds. Or I've, the ones that come from what used to be my cows, I tag green and his yellow, but I only have one, one green tag left. So one of the new ones is going to get a yellow tag. The other new one is going to get a green one. And there's one in here that was born a couple weeks ago that did not get tagged at all. Um, it got it shot, but I didn't have my, I can't remember if I brought DJ's truck or something and the tagger was in mine, so I didn't get it tagged right away so if I can catch it I'll put a yellow tag in it but if not it can if only one doesn't get tagged it's still easy to identify that one because it's the one without the tag I can wait till we get it run through the head shoot here this fall at weaning time and when we go to band them and uh, give them their second round of shots I can put a tag in it real quick so, looks like cows are out there figuring out the mineral already. These are the old cows here at this farm, so they're a little more laid back. And There's a couple heifers out there. That 42, that's the one that's the escape artist on us. It's always out. So, we'll go in here and see if we can... Hopefully, I can find something metal to stick you guys to, and you can watch me do this. one shot down. I never used to lay them down like that, but I found it was easier and I don't want to have to poke them twice. So if I lay them down, I'm, I can do a better job of getting the shot into them. I think the other one right out here. Now, as I was just doing that, I realized I just had a brain fart. Um, I would have been thinking I would have had the tagging gun with me, so I could have tagged them while I had them down also. But these two, are they were born this morning. And one, obviously, this afternoon after I checked cows this morning. So we should be able to uh, catch them fairly easy yet. They're, they're still at that stage where they're young enough that... They don't quite completely run from you like they do once they get three or four days old.
So this here is a tagger and a tagging gun. Um, it does, it pierces the ear. That's pretty sharp in there. Um, it's pretty painless for the calves. They, they flinch a little bit, but if most of the time they do not bleed at all, um, you, what you want to do is you want, you can feel and sometimes you can see the veins. You want to make sure that you go, you don't try not to hit a vein. It's not the end of the world if you do. And you want to get it close to the center of the ear because every once in a while they'll catch their tags on something and if it's right at the edge it'll rip it out. And I, I do have a couple that it was in the center of the ear and they've got a tear through their ear where they've ripped it out. I don't think any of these are. But, uh, I forgot my little head things or I'd put you on my head so you could see me do it. But, we'll, uh, find a calf. I think that one out there is the one that's going to be the older one so it'll probably run so we'll go in here at the barn i you sometimes i don't have to lay them down to tag them because tagging them goes pretty quick i do have issues with this gun it's just a cheap gun sometimes the tag will fall out and then try and pick tag up off four while not letting the calf get away what we got right here got that one done these cows being the older cows I, you never trust them all a cow around her calf but uh, like I, I did what you're not supposed to I sitting on the calf had my back to the mom but I I've got a pretty good trust in these old cows some of the heifers I don't know that I'd trust but I ain't too worried about these That one there balled a little bit. <laughs> Had somebody wanting to run the camera there. I really do enjoy working with the cattle doing this kind of stuff. It, I will admit, sometimes they're annoying when they get out and stuff, when you're trying to shell corn or plant corn and you need to be planting corn and instead you gotta stop to pull calves, but I don't know. It wouldn't be as fun farming, not raising cattle which I didn't grow up raising cattle. And I got in about seventh or eighth grade and DJ and I decided we want to start. So we started with steers and now we got breeding stock. We're still trying to grow the herd. Our biggest challenge we've got to, we're facing is uh, we've got areas that would make good pasture, but uh, fence is expensive and we like to build it ourselves instead of paying somebody to do what we can do. It just, it takes a lot of time and the posts and wire is expensive, but we, we've got probably 40 acres on this farm that I'd like to fence in. We'll see if we can sneak up on this bigger calf and get him, get a tag in him. We ain't gonna, we're not gonna work too hard at it because he'll outrun us. He'll outrun me all afternoon while I'm trying to grab him.
I already decided I am not going to be able to catch him. If I had DJ here, we might be able to, but as long as we get a stay ahead and keep all the other ones uh, tagged, then not having a tag is also a form of identification. So we'll head up to the other farm now and put the mineral out there. Those, cow, that, those cows all calved earlier on because they had our bowl. So I got him in early enough. So the calves are bigger. We're done calving up there. Um, I wished I would have had a creek feeder out for them, but I didn't get a creek feeder bought. Um, that's one of the, that's another challenge we face. We got cows on three different farms, so you got to buy multiple of everything. Here's the heifers, number 33. She won't calf. We've tried a couple years to get her to have a calf. So she's getting called out. And here's the group of calves we got. Very nice ones. These are out of our Hereford bowl. Got some color. That one over there is almost red. But, uh, it was snuck up on me or happened really quick these pastures got chewed down it was like overnight these heifers lost condition so we've been wanting to get them on a mineral program and get some hay on in them and we've been bringing some a little bit of grain up in the bucket for them when we come check them but we'll put this bag of mineral back in the barn and head back to the home farm got back to the office from putting that mineral out for the cows and um, hopefully we can notice a difference in them and just it'll make me feel better knowing that we've got some mineral going into them but if you uh, enjoyed what you've seen don't forget to give the video a thumbs up that'll help uh, YouTube recognize the channel and it, it promotes it in a way and you got any questions leave a comment and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching